caught on tape by a Houston woman who says she secretly recorded a doctor and staff during her surgery. Now, in these recordings, you hear remarks about her looks and her personality, and ABC's Gio Benitez has the story. Listen carefully, because few ever hear this. She's a painful. Secret recordings a patient says she made from the operating room. Ethel Easter says she hit a recorder in her hair extensions before going under the knife for a hernia operation. Easter says the hospital workers made disparaging comments about her body. I was appalled. I was distraught. I was violated, thinking that I'm lying there naked after the surgery. And they have me still uncovered talking over my body like this. And listen to this. Precious, yes. This is precious over here. I'm going to hide a precious over there. Easter considered that to be a reference to the main character in the movie Precious. It was racially profiling me, yes. I was offended by it. Easter says she decided to secretly record her surgery after a tense meeting with the doctor. She had some choice words to us in the clinic when we didn't book her case within two weeks. Including, I'm going to call a lawyer and file a complaint. It just doesn't seem like the thing to say to the person that's going to do your surgery. In a letter to Easter, the hospital, Harris Healthcare, says it has alerted staff to be mindful of comments at all times, but they say no further action is being taken. In a separate incident, a Virginia anesthesiologist is paying the price after a man going in for a routine colonoscopy accidentally left his iPhone recording during the procedure, capturing this while knocked out. And really, after five minutes of talking to you in pre op, I wanted to punch you in the face and man you up a little. A judge ruling the doctor in that case needs to pay half a million dollars. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Alvin J., the most passionate non doctor on the internet. And today, it's kind of funny because I call myself the most most passionate non-doctor. However, today we're going to talk about doctors. Okay, now, I am not going to put down doctors. As a matter of fact, let me put this at the beginning. If you have a broken leg, I want you to go to the hospital. You should see a physician, all right? If you have tremendous emergencies going on in your life, you're in a car accident, you go to the hospital, okay? If you have a flesh-eating virus that's going to kill you in a matter of weeks, you go to the hospital, all right? Now, having said that, you might have noticed something about those things that I just mentioned. They are emergencies. And emergencies are the only reason you should go to the hospital. Now, if you live in a hospital, you go to the hospital for everything. Every time you have an ache, a pain, a rash, something on your skin, uh, something going wrong with your face, you don't feel right in your abdomen, something going on with your body, then all of a sudden, if your first urge is to go to the hospital, I'm going to tell you this right now, I'm going to tell you in the nicest possible way, you're gonna die early. Okay, I'm not wishing that on you. I'm just telling you the facts of what will happen. Go look at the studies. New England Journal of Medicine, the JAMA, Journal for the American Medical Association. All right, go look at all of them. They will tell you that the leading, one of the leading causes of death in America right now, number two, is iatrogenic causes, meaning physician-induced injuries, death, and maiming of human beings Number two cause in the United States of anybody. Does that freak anybody out? Are you guys a little nervous yet? Because you guys are going to the doctor to get this knowledge. You're going to get help. And most of the time, don't you hear stuff like, take this and go home. Why don't you uh, try this for a while and go home? Try this. Wait a minute. You're a doctor. You went to school for eight years to 12 years. Is that all the advice you have for another human being when they come to you with a problem in their body is to take this, try this, go home, and if something else doesn't happen, come back and we'll give you something else. Sounds like something the pharmacist could have done on their own without your intervention and you getting your kickbacks from your office visits. Don't make me curse. All right, now, uh, let's get to the next point here, all right? There was a DVD and book released in the 1990s, all right? It was written and produced by someone named Dr. Joel Wallach. Now, I found this very interesting because the book and DVD series was called Dead Doctors Don't Lie, and I found the title intriguing. So I went ahead and I read the book, and I looked at the DVDs, and what I found out is that Dr. Joel Wallach did his own conduction of doctors, he conducted a survey of doctors to find out 
How old did doctors who have the all this knowledge about health what age do they actually live to? Well, he found out that they only live to age 58 through his survey. Well, the doctors got pissed off at this and they decided to run their own study and they did it over five years and they even threw in a few nurses just to pad their numbers a little bit. And what they found out is that doctors don't die at 58. That was a fallacy. They actually died at 56. Yes, two years. They should have left well enough alone. Dr. Wallach was giving them a benefit of the doubt, but now they die at 56 years old. But that brings up an interesting question. If somebody only lives to be 56 years old and they're supposed to be the holders of all knowledge with health care, then is that how early you want to die? Hmm. That's all right, does it? All right, now... People, a bum off the street eating off a trash can has an average lifespan of 68 years. The normal uh, healthy American lives to about 72 years old. Uh, there's not much difference in that. However, that is a vast difference over the age that doctors die because doctors are committing suicide. They're taking their own medication, getting high on their own supply, and then all of a sudden they're trying to dispense advice to you about health. I, I'm going to say this. All right, and I, I and I, I don't want to turn people off right now. Doctors are nice people. Doctors go to church. Doctors actually, and I, I believe some of them actually want to help. However, you can't. Doctors can't help most of them because doctors are unwilling to go to any knowledge outside of the medical field. And this is the problem: doctors are trained to cut burn and poison, okay? Surgery medication is the only way they teach you how to deal with health problems in the medical field. It's true. I was accepted to medical school. I was going to be a doctor. After talking to nine doctors uh, of different various types, specialists, general practitioners, every type of doctor, and in my mother's hospital, What I found out is that eight of the nine doctors, if they had the choice, would never become a doctor again. And a lot of them said they didn't have time to spend with their children. They didn't have time to spend with their wives. They, most of them were divorced, okay? Uh, I think seven of the nine were divorced, paying alimony, of course. But it's just a whole thing where you thought you were getting into this field to help people. And in actuality, you end up paying your huge salary out to medical malpractice insurance. You got to have insurance for this, insurance for that. You got to have money for lawsuits. You got to have uh, money for your assistance. And on top of that, you're trying to run your own office or you're being dictated on how to treat your patients through a hospital. It's ridiculous the way the system that we live in, which is why I stay out of the fucking system, okay? I don't go to the hospital. My wife, uh, she wants to go to the hospital for everything. I say, listen here, listen dear, calm down, okay? Let me give you some herbs. Let me treat, put you on some stuff. Let me take you off of some stuff. And then all of a sudden, wow, she doesn't have to go to the hospital anymore. Who would have thought, all right? Now, I'm going to tell you this. My wife... She lives with me. I'm a healthcare nut, all right? I know almost everything healthy that you can do for your body. I know that most of it is completely uh, holistic, meaning that you gotta take care of the whole body. You can't just pinpoint a problem and try to fix that, all right? That is what we call allopathic medicine, okay? That's what we practice here in the United States. If your gallbladder is experiencing a problem, let's rip it out, all right, so that you don't have the problem for the gallbladder anymore. However, because we took out your gallbladder, you now have an increase 60% increased chance of having colon cancer. Who would have thought? All right. So messing with your body chemistry, that's what causes cancer. Going to doctors and letting them give you drugs that stop or slow a metabolic process, that's what gives you cancer. And that's what gets you dead. All right. Now, let's go to some other stuff here I got for you. Now, those of you who are hopped up on the prescription medications, all right, stop it. Cut that out right now. If you are on prescription medications, just like I said, every time you stick a pill into your mouth, it slows or stops a metabolic process. It slows or stops a metabolic process. Why are you like, why can't you guys get that into your head? 
sick people take drugs, okay? So if you are a person who is on drugs and you're sick, you're gonna to continue to be because you're gonna build a tolerance to the drug. And once you build a tolerance to the drug, that drug is now going to be in your system and now you have to take more, just like a drug addict, in order to get the same high or the same effect. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go back to the doctor and say, doc, this isn't working anymore, I'm still getting the pain. And you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna put you on a higher dose or he's gonna switch you to a new, more powerful medication that even he doesn't know what it does. I got news for you people and you better listen real good right now. Doctors are not pharmacists. They will freely give you a drug to put in your mouth that could alter your system and destroy your health for the rest of your life. However, most doctors only know what the sales rep told them when they gave them the sample. That's as much as they know. Doctors don't believe in continuing education, all right? I'll say most of them don't. And when I say most, I mean most, okay? Only the doctors who have decided to go to the holistic route. They have decided to change the way that they think about medicine, that an orange or a piece of celery or a raspberry or a blueberry or a green kale can call, can just cause great health, can get you out of disease state, and it can do it in as little as two weeks. But you guys are willing to live on medication for the rest of your life? Because a guy in a white jacket told you that this pill will take away your pain? But that's what we got nowadays. We got this microwave society. We got the people who want the pain gone now. So you're willing to take the Motrin to fuck up your health. You're willing to take the ibuprofen, the Aleve, the Excedrin. Name them off. I know you're taking them. Some of you are taking statins. Some of you are taking things for cholesterol. You're taking, you're taking diuretics, ACE inhibitors, beta blockers. Okay. What are you doing? I know the doctor gave it to you, but guess what? You call the shots with your health, not the doctor. You call the shots with your health. So don't be fooled. This is not Nazi Germany. You don't have to listen to the doctor if you don't want to. If you care about your body, I'm telling you right now, you better start listening to yourself. You better start reading some articles and doing some stuff and trying some things with some fruits and vegetables and getting rid of that medication if you want to live longer. Because guess what? You've only given one life here. And if you come back, who says that you're going to be a human? You could be this damn board on the wall behind me. You never get to move. You never get to do anything. Okay? But you were blessed to be born as a human being who can move around, who can experience this existence that is around us. So, I would say take full advantage of that. Please don't let the medical system get you down. All right? Now, you got to you got to think about this. The cost of healthcare is skyrocketing. Just for dementia. Dementia costs four times more to treat than cancer. And we know cancer is bad in the United States, but dementia, just meaning that the deterioration of your brain. Now, I attribute that to fluoride in the water, chlorine in the water, you getting vaccines for all of your life, and guess what? The new adult vaccine uh, schedule is being passed through Congress right now to try to get us adults to be on a mandatory uh, vaccine schedule so that uh, we can be safe. Why they're forcing it on you, I don't know. Uh, but okay, yeah, it's not gonna work with me, all right? I, I, I might, uh, we might have a discussion at my front door trying to force me to have a vaccine with my Smith & Wesson. All right, I'm not gonna let any government tell me what the fuck to do with my body. 
all right? If they come in here and they hold me down and they shoot me with it, fine. I know how to get it out of my body anyway. But I'm not going to go down to the clinic. I'm not going to let my job be determined by. I'm not going to let my taxes be filed just because uh, I can't file my taxes because I don't have my schedule of shots, which is what they're trying to tie it to, in case you didn't know. Okay, so all this uh, uh, kind of dictatorish kind of stuff that's coming up right now, uh, not the best for us as Americans, I have to um, say. Okay, so in the medical field, you're dealing with two things. That's even either ignorance or evil. It, me it means that your doctor is ignorant, all right? Ignorant doesn't mean dumb. It doesn't mean stupid. It doesn't mean you don't know anything. It means ignorance means to ignore. You're willing to push aside other information because you are dead set on your view. I look at both views. I just said you should go to the hospital if it's an emergency. You should go see a doctor for that. However, if you are not and you are in chronic pain, if you're thinking about knee replacement surgery, if you're thinking about spinal stabilization surgery, stuff like that, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to get fucked up. Okay? Uh, your body is not meant to take surgeries on a regular basis, take medications on a regular basis, and still function normally. That's why your body's trying to find something to do with all this crap, which is what manifests what we call dis-ease. Okay? Now, uh, we say e ignorance, I just explained that, and or evil. It just means that your doctor might just be an evil motherfucker who does not care about your health, only wants the money, and only wants to pay off his student loan that he got uh, racking up $250,000 in debt trying to become a doctor. Okay? He could have done a lot better just becoming a nutritionist, spending 20 grand, and he could have helped your, got your health better a whole lot sooner uh, than doing your cut, burn, and poison routine. Okay? I'm just telling you, straight off the bat. All right, now, how about this? All right, doctors are actually having their careers threatened because they won't go along with the agenda of Big Pharma. All right, in case you didn't know, big pharmaceutical companies, they have commercials on television. Every other commercial is a drug company commercial telling you all of the deadly side effects and how it's again gonna fuck you up. Uh, and we're still taking it as if it's doing us some good. Big Pharma pays for metal, I mean financial backing behind financial backing behind medical schools. That means that doctors feel an obligation now from the medical school uh, to use the pharmaceutical uh, company's pills and formulas because they have helped put them through high school. I mean high school, medical school, okay? So it might as well be high school, you know what I'm saying? All right, so don't let this stuff get into your head, okay? Doctor has his problems, you got yours. I'm telling you how to fix the, your problems and get them done healthy, get them done in the right way. Plant-based diet, plant-based juicing, a supplementation, uh, getting healthy cholesterol, healthy protein into your system, and boom, magically, everything goes away. But you don't believe that because I'm not wearing a white coat. Well, let's fix that. There. Now I am wearing a white coat. Now, I want you to listen to me. Stop going to the hospital for every little pain, ache, uh, abdominal problem, skin rash, uh, neck stiffness, headache that you got. All you have to do is overall, all right, alkalize your body. Get the correct proteins and supplements into your body. And then all of a sudden, your health miraculously gets good. I am 40 years old. I don't have any body pains, okay? I don't have any problems uh, raising my knees, all right? Except for my jeans that are a little tight. <laughs> all right? So I don't have any problem with doing anything, all right? Lifting weights. I do work out every day, but that means I have to put the minerals and supplements that I just lost back into my system after I work out. And guess what? No problems persist. I don't have skin rashes. Okay, look at see see here. All right, I don't have skin rashes. I don't have I don't have things on my body. Okay, I just don't. All right, and it's because I take care of myself on a holistic level. I don't say, oh, look at the skin. Let me put on a skin cream again. That's allopathic medicine. 
We don't treat symptoms. You treat the entire body and the body itself will take care of you. Okay? All right, so that's all there is to it. I know I got my white coat. I don't really feel comfortable in this thing, so I'm gonna take it off. All right, so let's get to the next thing here. All right. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is tell you about the last thing and the reason that you're going to the doctor. And it's called indoctrination. Indoctrination. You guys are going to the doctor because you've been trained to go to somebody else to solve your problems for your entire life. Let me put it this way. When you were little, your parents told you what to do, okay? You grew up and they sent you to school. Your teachers, you got into school and now your teachers tell you what to do. And then you go through your school and you got a series of teachers and then all of a sudden we send you to college. Now you got a new set of adults telling you what to do. And when you graduate college and you finally get out of school, guess what happens now? You get to the ultimate test, your boss tells you what to do. So all of these people who are actually in your life, who are actually running your life, they are taking turns at the reins of your life. Yeah! All right, so they are controlling you from the time you're a child to the time you're an adult. And when do you get to make decisions about your own life? When? Are you going to wait until you retire? Oh, I, that's what it, you want to wait till you retire so that you're 65 years old and you're collecting your 40% of what you used to make and you think that off that little 40% of the full-time salary that you used to make, you're going to travel the world and because you don't have to work, you're going to go on vacations and you're going to have expensive cars and you're going to have a nice house and you're going to have a nice lifestyle, but... I don't think you could do all that on 40% of your salary, and especially if you're going to the hospital every other day to take care of minor, minor ailments that only gets worse when you go get older. So I think you're going to be spending most of that 40% of what you used to make uh, at your old full-time job. I think you're going to be spending that on health care, and you're not going to have a chance to travel. You don't have a healthy state of mind, or you don't have a healthy body in any respect. So why would you think that you're going to ever do anything exciting at the end of your life when you can't do it now? All right, we got young people. I got a classroom full of students. All right, they, I, 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 who in here gets migraine headaches? And 75% of the room raises their hand. And I said, no, 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 no. I mean migraine headaches on a regular basis, like every day, every other day. Same 75% of hands went up. All right, that's not normal. These are 17, 19, 24, 28 year old people who are in a classroom and they're having migraine headaches? every day every other day and they're just and they believe that it's normal and when the doctor goes to them the doctor doesn't tell them it's not normal you know what the doctor does take this and if that doesn't work take this and if that doesn't work come back and we might be able to do a procedure of some sort uh let's, let us run some tests i had a young lady who actually was in my classroom they want to do exploratory surgery you know what that means? That means we're gonna cut you open and look for a problem because we don't know where it is. I'll tell you right now, I'm not a doctor. All right, I don't give medical advice. I am the most passionate non-doctor on the internet. But I can solve your problem in about two or three weeks. All I have to do is put you on a juice-based diet. All I have to do is give you a coffee enema. All I have to do is uh, put you on fruits and vegetable juicing program and give you some vitamins and minerals to replace what you've lost. And I guarantee most human beings will go back to a holistic state and they will be straighter spine. They will have better, healthier tissue. Their skin will look absolutely fantastic and flawless. No such thing as acne, all right? No such thing as acne when you have supplementation, all right? So even, I could, I've even reversed my gray hair growth in my beard by use of colloidal copper, all right? When you know what to do with your body, there ain't no need to go to the hospital. There ain't no need to have somebody else check out your health for you or take control of the reins of your life. Why don't you do that? 
why don't you listen to a non-doctor? Somebody who gives a fuck about other human beings. I'm gonna tell you this right now. If a dog is drowning and a human being is drowning in a river, and I only got time to save one, just like the incident in iRobot, okay? I'm gonna save the human every time because it's not that I don't like animals. I love animals. I love little fluffy furries, all right? So I know they feel so good, all right? Tingly, all right? But I give a damn about humans. That's why I teach at my school because I care. Somebody has to give a fuck. I know that there have been doctors who have been assassinated and murdered for saying exactly what I'm saying now. But I'm telling you, I don't care. I might end up dead one day for what I believe. But if you don't stand for something, I'm not gonna give you the cliche line. I just believe I should stand for what I believe in. Are any of you going to do the same thing? Stand the fuck up when somebody is in your face and they're wearing a white jacket and you say, Doc, you're a quack. You don't know what you're talking about and I don't believe what you're telling me is in the best interest of my health. So I'm gonna try some healthy stuff for myself. I'm gonna try some juice for myself. I'm gonna try some vitamins and minerals for myself. And if that doesn't work, if that very holistic stuff doesn't work, I'll come back to you, Doc, and I'll take every drug you have, okay? There you go. I am done going off on you for today. I, I hope it wasn't too long, uh, but I just wanted to get the feelings out of me that yes, I give a damn. Yes, yes, I do care about it. I don't know you, no, I don't. But the things I tell you, I they are true at the time that I give them to you. And if they change in the future, I will be the first one to come on here and do a video and say, this has changed, uh, that's not true anymore. All right, it's just what it is, okay? I care, all right? So there are some people out in this world who actually give a damn. I talk to people who don't talk to me back. I say hello and people don't say hello back. That's their problem. I can't, I don't have anything to do with that. I will not let anybody affect my joy. All right? So I'm telling you, if you want to have a healthy, long, flourishing life on this planet, all right, stop doing what you're doing. Don't eat pizza every fucking day, all right? Don't go to the hospital every time you have an ache or pain. Take care of yourself from the natural means that I just gave you, and you won't have to worry about going to the hospital, all right? So, peace, blessings, and soul. <laughs> this is Alvin J, the most passionate dog doctor on the internet. I'll talk to you soon. And please, stay out of the hospital. Don't go see a doctor. Go see a fruit or a vegetable. I'm sure they'll do a much better job for you. Later. The healthcare system we have is very top heavy. It's doctor and hospital centric instead of patient and community centered. And we've basically led people to believe that they, their health has to be in the hands of the healthcare system that they don't have the power to control their health, to regulate their health, to create health. And I'm a firm believer in do-it-yourself health, that self-care is where this all starts, and that 80% of health conditions can be solved without a physician. In fact, those patients who are going to physicians to solve those problems are not getting results. People with migraines and irritable bowel and reflux and obesity and diabetes and high blood pressure, they're getting medications that are band-aids on, on the symptoms, but not really dealing with the cause. So what I encourage people to do is not treat disease, but create health. And disease goes away as a side effect of creating health.